Oh, it's rooted because we overheat it. <laughs> Sounds like Godzilla. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, this game has got everything I love about games. <laughs> Welcome back to the Scrapyard guys, Rod Tronic here and I am back with another first look 30 minutes or less. Today we've got Ignited Steel Mech Tactics. It is a mech roguelike turn-based tactics game. Manage a team of overheating old tech mechs. More heat means more vulnerability and damage. Unravel the galaxy's story as you travel from node to node, improving your mechs, acquiring new pilots and defeat the sentient AI overlord. The best way I can describe this game is a cross between FTL and Into the Breach. Two really good indie games. If you haven't played them, you definitely should. I've already done the, the tutorial like normal, but we're just going to start a whole new run with you guys in tow. But first of all, make sure if this is your first time here to subscribe if you like these kinds of videos and always hit the like button as well. I would be very, very grateful. Now, admin out of the way, let's have a look at the game, shall we? All right, so, so how you start the game is you have three mechs with pilots attached. Um, there is a basically you can go in and customize the mechs. There's different pilots that give different stats, health, weight, heat capacity, things like that. Um, some are just generic assault pilots. Some seem to be like main characters. You can then customize what your mech looks like. A stalker mech, javelin mech. Sorry, it's not even just look like, it's actually stats. And then you can change colors, which I believe don't change anything. That's fine too. And then the next thing you can do is change weapon packs. So you can shock packs, pyro packs, healing packs, and you can see that there are other unlocks here as well. Now the version I'm playing is an early build, so I'm not 100% whether these are all locked out because it's an early build of the game or because it is, we have to unlock them as we play. I imagine it's the second one. Also note, this game is out today, the day that this video is going live, March the 4th, I believe. What we're actually going to do is we're just going to randomize. I'm just going to hit random, random, and let's play. Now, this is the FTL element of the game that you've probably, if you've played FTL, you know exactly what it means. We're trying to make our way to the other side of this sector. Um, I don't know if anything's chasing us. That's that's something that hasn't happened to me yet. Uh, and I'm not 100% what all these things are. So look, we have Klaas Signy Za, defend the generators, or we have Osh Cleus JW. I'm gonna go this way because this way seems to have more options. So there's three or four different types of mission styles. So it's like defend the generators, kill all enemies, attack the generators, and I think one more, I can't remember. And then you have the sort of into the breach style gameplay. Standard sort of controls, W, A, S, and D. I can rotate the map here if I like. Uh, I, I haven't actually needed to rotate the map if I'm honest, but we'll see. So the next thing we wanna do is put in our three mechs. They seem to be all facing the wrong direction for some reason, but that's okay too. And then we start them off. Boom, 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 boom. We have planet fall. So we're defending these three generators. Five turns to defend the generators. Now I wonder do enemies just keep spawning in? These are assault bipeds. These are tanks. I've only ever faced tanks, so I'm not sure. We have an allied, oh, we've got an allied turret. I like the sound of that. On the top here, we've got our action points. So you can see we have 120 action points and moving and shooting use up that. And then we've got our heat. So moving and shooting also heats us up. The more heat that we use, the more damage we output, but also the more damage we take. So we've got to be careful. So let's move this Igret Soryu up here. And then I don't think I can attack anything. We've got two different weapons. We've got a missile launcher that can't reach anywhere really that's uh, impactful. We've also got a space warper that uh, moves your mech. Oh, so that, I like the space warper. That's like a, a charge. So I think what I'll actually do is I'll move a little bit more. I think we're not far out. So I might actually move one more space. I actually might, I actually might come back again. Oh no. So it looks like moving this far will mean nothing actually. I, I don't, yeah, I can't do anything. So let's just move to here and we will execute that action. So you can see we're heating up. But there's also, above my head, you can see an environmental condition. We're on a frozen planet, so we actually generate 50% less heat, which is cool. Next up, we've got just this standard assault pilot. Um, I want to make sure what he's got. So he's got a projectile rifle, which is pretty short range, and he's got an emergency drone, which is a heal. I'm going to keep him in the middle, because I like the fact that he has a, a heal, uh, I'll be honest. I'll put him over here. He can't do anything with this. There's no range on this, so we're going to execute those actions. Like, look at the cool walking action and then we've got last of all we've got this other assault pilot we'll make sure we check what his weapons he's got a missile launcher it's not that short range and then we've got the space warper which is the same ability as our, our original character which is kind of a you move your mech in a straight line you charge and then you deal more damage the further you've traveled which i think is a really cool ability so let's keep you back here for now and then we'll execute all those actions so i like <coughs> sorry I'm still coughing Oh wow, he's actually got a long range. Are they shooting? Oh, they're taking it to turret first. That's fine by me. Oh no, 
Don't shoot that generator. Okay, yeah, shoot my players. I'm okay with that. All right, everybody sort of cools down now. So we can see what this guy's gonna do next. We wanna make sure we've selected the right person. The Space Warper will actually knock this guy back, but it doesn't do a huge amount of damage, if I'm honest. So potentially what we can do is just, oh, we can actually attack both units by attacking behind them. This is the kind of into the breach element of the game, which I really like. And I think I'm just gonna unload on them three times. Now you'll see my heat go up as I do it. But as I said, we're taking 50% uh, less heat generation, which is good. Your main weapon can increase the enemy's heat level. The higher their heat, the higher the damage they will receive per attack. Nice! Oh, I didn't realize that. So obviously one of the special abilities that this weapon does is actually heat up the enemy. I really like this mechanic of heat management. Um, it's, it's super cool. So this is just a standard M2 projectile rifle. Um, I think I'm just going to blitz these guys. Yeah, we can take both of those guys out at the same time. I don't think we need to get any fancier than that. Awesome. Now oh, he blows up too. Cool. Next up, we want uh, we have our missile launcher and we have a space warper. So I don't. Hmm. Our missile launcher again does an AOE. So I think I'm going to do that. Just launch as many AOE effects as I can. And we can see we're heating them up as well. The issue there though is, and I guess it's the same with the enemy, is that they do more damage the higher their heat, I think? Not sure. Okay, so this, this poor generator is getting absolutely blitzed out of it. All right, so we've got two more turns to go. Is this turn three? I'm not sure. This is turn three. What is that? Destroy it to complete the... What? Destroy it to complete the level. Excuse me? What do you mean destroy it to, to complete the level? Oh, so we can complete the level early, is it? To be honest with you, What's happening? Why did that go red? Oh, we've crossed a certain threshold. All right, I see, I see, I see. Do we have to do that attack? We do have to do that attack. Let's do that attack. So we've crossed, I think, a certain level of heat, which now means we do more damage. But again, we have to be careful that we don't go too far. Um, He's miles away, so I'm not actually that worried. What I might do is just, if I get to here, we don't actually have to do it. I wish you could put them like on Overwatch. That would be fun. Yeah, I don't really need to do anything. Maybe we just move over here. Maybe we move over here and we shoot this thing a few times. Yeah. Let's see what happens when we execute. It says defeat, shoot this to, to win the level. Maybe we have to destroy it to complete the level. So maybe we have to destroy that one as well. If we move all the way over there, we're actually using up a serious amount of our uh, ability. Oh, we can actually cool down, but we don't need to cool down right now. So let's, yeah, can't shoot anybody right now. So let's just execute actions and wait our turn out. I wonder what they are like I would have thought that they um I would have thought that they were like you know new spawns oh that thing just like shotgunned us we've got four more turns so we should be able to complete this we are now dealing I thought we'd be dealing more damage but we're actually not maybe that's an ability to do with this specific guy I want to space warp with the crap out of this guy just to show you the move to be honest with you let's move actually you know what? We'll, we'll use this guy first We'll move you over here. What are your attacks again? Emergency drone, M2. Yeah, okay, so let's move you over here and then we'll attack as many times as we, oh, we can only attack once. Okay, well, let's let's execute that action anyway. Oh, that wasn't great, to be honest. All right, let's, let's. Uh, I don't know how, how much this works. Let's move you back here and then see how this works. Yeah, let's go. Okay, we've moved back and now we're charging in. Oh no, we selected the wrong ability. Ah, oh, crap. All right, well that didn't that didn't play out as well as I'd hoped it to. This, I suppose I better move out of these three red squares. I think that would be a safe a safe assumption. We could space warper this guy as well, actually. Let's move slightly out of the way. Wait, hold on, what's the range on this thing? Oh, it's plenty. So let's move one step backwards and now use that. And what I wanna do is, oh no, we can't aim at that now, unfortunately. All right, well, let's just shoot that guy as much as we can. All right, enemy turn. I think we'll be okay. Oh no, here's more stuff coming in. Yeah, so he actually had preloaded up that uh, attack and we just have to like step out of it, which is fine. This thing's got like a severe shotgun blast thing. But I think Dale's generator is gonna be fine. And I, and I imagine as the game progresses, you learn more and more about what the enemy's abilities are. 
Okay, we've got one more turn to last, and I think we'll be fine, to be honest with you. Uh, I really want to show you this, this ability, so let's see if this works. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna we're oh, we're actually gonna kill him as well. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Um, and then we can probably do something similar to this guy. No, we still can't. We still can't kill him. That that's a really bad weapon, actually. I, I'm I'm learning that that's not a good weapon. Let's do the emerge. Oh no, he doesn't have that ability. Whoops. Okay, so then I probably want to take out that guy. Then but let's move over here. Shoot him a few times. <sighs> still can't kill him. What does this guy have? Let's actually, let's move on to the other dude. Oh, we actually have the extra heat damage now. See, we have the extra heat damage. I was, I was curious to know why I, why I was in the red or, or getting up into the heat red, but not actually uh, seeing what I wanted. MX missile launcher. Okay, so I can move. The only problem is, oh, actually, hold on. Yeah, the only problem is I will do damage to the thing I'm trying to protect, which is not really what I want. I kind of have to decide which, which one I want to destroy. So maybe what I do is, uh, let's, let's not use that. Let's just attack this guy here. Okay, let's just do it and see what happens. I mean, we only have to survive this round, and I don't think... Uh, oh, hold on, let's try this. So let's... Can we kill anything? That's what I want to know. Can we kill... We can't really... Oh, we can kill this dude! And then let's put a few more bullets in there while we're at it. Okay, so that, that's not the end of the world. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so that's that's five turns up now. As long as they don't destroy us or the generators, we should be okay. Okay, so they're focusing me actually rather than the generators, and that's the, that's the round. That's the round itself. So now we get uh, income for for certain things. So we also level up our mechs, which is cool. So we get more income. We completed the battle. We we killed I think seven enemies, so we get fifty there. We didn't complete it before the time ran out, which I don't think would have been. Oh, maybe it would have been possible if we had to kill those tiny little things on the ground. And then we got a load of resources or bounties. I don't know what they are. Oh, we then oh, it's kind of like we get to pick a, a, a new ability essentially. So we get emergency drone heals an ally, eliminates on the uh, instantly overheats. We already have an emergency drone shrapnel minigun fires heavy duty explosive rounds at high speeds uh, yeah i'm gonna take the shrapnel minigun and i think colors actually are relevant like there's a color for primary secondary and then tertiary abilities cool so we've got this primary weapon oh yeah we got the new shrapnel machine gun the missile launcher i like so what i'm actually going to do is it's this projectile rifle i'm not a massive fan of yeah the projectile rifle is not great if i'm honest i don't i don't like it i like this better now why is that red that it's total weight Oh, it's, it's showing me it's worse while it's showing me the green is showing me the better abilities. Yeah, that's fine. Challenge completed, a small adjustment. Unlock for future runs, new event. Oh, nice. So you see what we did there? We just, all we did was upgrade our character and we unlocked new stuff for the next run. I like that. Okay, so now that we've completed the first mission, we get to decide which one of these we want to do. Let's, I want to go and just eliminate all enemies. I think that's that's just a basic one. The one thing is our health doesn't carry over though. So we don't heal up between rounds, which is unfortunate. So we see the enemies we're gonna get. We see the, what's that? I, do, I don't know what that means. These symbols are supposed to mean something. I wish there was like a tooltip that you hovered them. That would be great. All right, so to me, this looks like some sort of poisonous planet. Yes, toxic, 20% damage dealt and received. Oh, wow. And we just need to eliminate all enemies. So yeah. Maybe we want you a little bit behind. I wouldn't mind. Yeah, I, I can't really afford to have you destroyed. And I assume they're lost for the rest of the run. All right, so 1400 health. I don't know what these guys do. Set surrounding tiles on fire. Oh, okay, so we see the abilities in the bottom right there. Roots adjacent units. Oh, that's what it does when it overheats. My apology. Okay, so we want to make sure we have our missile launcher. Is there any way we can do any more than that? No, let's just, let's just attack. Oh, oh, it's rooted because we overheat it. That's Cool, I really like that. I'm gonna execute that action. Can I can I kill it then? And I'll root that as well. Oh, do you know what? I wonder, can I kill one of them then at the same time? I think I can. When an enemy, so we overheated the enemy there. Class. So it had ability when we overheated, which was to root it. Oh wow, that's an extra level that I'm learning. That's so cool. Okay, so that's the end of that guy's turn. Uh, next up, this guy, when he gets overheated, uh, sets surrounding tiles on fire. We have to be careful of that. Now, what's the ability? We've got the shrapnel machine gun now. Awesome. So now this thing is actually quite good in the sense that it shoots two tiles in a row. Maybe we want to kill that. 
Emergency drone. Maybe I want to use the emergency drone. Maybe we'll get one shot off here. That's rooted. It's not going anywhere. So maybe we'll get one shot off and then we'll emergency drone our buddy here. Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. So we're overheat. Wait. Oh, okay. So the overheat came first there or something. I'm not, I'm not sure what that meant. Okay, so now you're healed up a little bit. I like that. Uh, missile launcher, space warper. We don't actually have to go too far to shoot you. So let's do that. And we overheat you by 100. Can I just charge at you? No, I can't because I'm like locked in. Should we just kill that guy? Oh, is that a little health thing? Repairs the mech at the start of the turn and then disappears. Oh, I like that. So what I want to do then is I want to take him out. And then I want to move. Oh, I can't really move that far. Oh crap. I'd love to get over there and heal. All right, let's let's do that then, shall we? Okay, so we've killed that dude and now we're moving. So I definitely want to get him over to the heal for now. Uh-oh. What did he just do? Oh, he just did like a little short shotgun blast or something. Oh, he flies. Oh wow, he's got serious range. Oh, <gasps> that was a suicide drone. Oh wow. Okay, so this guy can't do anything really other than he actually does three times the damage so potentially we can attack he actually kills him in one shot which is amazing i'm actually going to do two of those and then cool by half yeah cooling an action reduces the current heat by half in exchange for a third of the unit's action points it's the only way it's out of the overheated state so that's a good way of showing you how the cooling works so let's do it so because we're doing three times damage we absolutely blitz that guy and then pretty much blitz the crap out of that guy too awesome i like it right so now i want to get all the way actually can i get all the way over there and attack at the same time i wonder hmm actually let's let's try this out so we do that and then we move we cannot do that so i think it's actually worth it to get him over there i think first so let's let's not do that let's just move and get him healed up there's nothing else i can do for that guy so let's just uh, execute that action he'll also cool down We'll get a bit of healing and you should be able to finish dude, this dude off. Uh, is there anything else we want you to do while we're... No, we can't get him over there. So let's just shoot him and we will execute that action. <clears throat> awesome. And that only took, I think, two turns and we got a heal. Well, that actually went really, really well. And one person leveled up. Oh, so this is the next sort of customization. Again, this game is so cool. Pilot level up, choose a perk. Avernus, whenever you walk out of a tile, it starts burning. Burning tiles no longer hurt your mech. They still heat up. Okay, so you leave a fiery path behind you. Interesting. Researcher, if you end your turn at the same tile in which you started, gain an invulnerability shield that blocks one attack. Oh, so you can move and then move back and do stuff. I, that seems broken. 50% damage with all my... I'm going to take the researcher. Like, invulnerability seems like a really broken stat. Rook class sniper cannon. Oh my god, I like the sound of that because on the guy that doesn't have to move, I would like range of three. I, I'm hoping that's really cool. Moves your mech in a straight line. We've got space warper, so let's take the rook class. It seems to be level two, the green. I think those two green pips were, were like level stuff. So let's get the guy who's leveled up. Which one are you? There's no level beside you, sir. Are you the level two guy? Why doesn't it tell me what level you are? It's all pilot, back, level two, brown guy. The brown guy is level two. Okay, so we gotta remember the guy with the brown mech is level two. Am I just missing it? Is it say he's level two anywhere in the hangar? It doesn't. Okay, well then that's another thing, guys, if you're watching this later on. Okay, what else can I give you? Support engine, that's fine. Balance engine, no. Emergency drone, I don't, the emergency drone is good. Yeah, maybe I'll give you the emergency drone, but you're not gonna move around too much. What else have we got here? Again, I think I'm gonna get one more battle in before we, we finished out the video, guys. But you can see the kind of customization options that are there. You can get balanced engines, space warper, any other weapons that we have? Space warper, space warper, emergency drone, any other main missiles, missile launcher, shrapnel machine gun, missile launcher. And you can sell stuff as well, actually. That's another uh, good point. So what's that? Uh, commercial station, yeah. So this is what I'm talking about. Let's go to the commercial station because I wanna show you a few other aspects, actually. This actually is a good path to take because now I can show you we can buy stuff hellfire artillery extremely long range light shot that causes minimum damage greatly heats a single target and be cast on self i really like the sound of that and that's a secondary weapon i'm actually going to buy that oh we've also unlocked a new feature awesome energy swords oh imagine our mechs could do like uh, close combat stuff why can't i sell stuff looks like we can't can't sell anything for some reason i don't know why that is all right that's fine. Exit station. Now I want to go, oh, can I go to the hangar? I can't. So I want my, this guy is going to be essentially my sniper now. 
he's going to hopefully be able to use like a long range sniper rifle and a um, hellfire artillery. That's what I want. Oh, I actually didn't select the sniper rifle. I didn't hit select. That's something I didn't realize he had to do. Support engine is right now. So that could be good for him. Heat efficiency and cooling over power. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I want like a balanced engine for this dude. It's kind of like a glass cannon. Yeah, I want, I want... No, maybe the support engine is just better. Yeah, let's leave it at that for now. Okay, the next thing then is we have these sort of experiential events. The crew agrees to land in a neutral planet to rest. After a couple of hours pass, there's a feeling in the air. Is someone watching? Yeah, let's investigate. Oh, we got 100. Awesome. Cool, and we unlocked some more stuff for future runs. Ah, oh, this game has got everything I love about games. <laughs> Eliminate the special unit. Let's go. Sounds like Godzilla. Um, all right, let's just place our units, whatever. I don't think it really matters. Uh, so we have to eliminate the special unit. We've got 13, ton, uh, 13 turns. Oh my God, this level is definitely designed in a, with a Godzilla thing in mind. It's called the Hunter VRX or 3X. This has got built, I don't know. I feel like this is like a, yeah, an episode or whatever you want to call it of them. Um, you actually can't go that way. So you have to go this way. So let's get our dude. This is our assault pilot with the, this is our long range dude, isn't it? Yeah, this is our long range guy. Okay, so then we've got our Hellfire Artillery. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is class. We don't actually have to move. Let's just pepper this dude with as much as we can and see what this looks like. What could go wrong? We don't actually have to move. Awesome. Now, it's, it's not that powerful, but it, it, it'll do the trick. All right, let's move you up here. You can't do anything else. Execute those actions. Let's go. And then lastly, let's move you up as well. I'm invulnerable, which is cool. Uh, nothing else really to be done, so let's move on, shall we? Execute actions. Enemy turn, let's go. We can actually turn up the enemy speed if we like. Let's heat it up. Oh, this guy's coming in from this direction. Okay, so we wanna take out those guys as well and make sure that we don't end up losing. Can he get in this way? No, this is the only way this person can get in. I think what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna make sure that we take out the little dudes. Sniper rifle will be nice. Oh, we actually overheat him as well, which is good. Do we need to? No, I think I'm gonna overheat that guy because he sets surrounding tiles on fire when he's overheated. And yeah, let's just pepper him a little bit as well. Nice. So he's overheated. He sets surrounding tiles on fire. I think that's not a good, I don't know if that's a good thing or not for me. Let's, let's find out. We want to make sure we remember what, what the range is on this thing. Nah, it's not great to be honest. So let's, let's move. And what was my secondary attack? It's the space warper. So we want to make sure that we've got like a free run. Now, we, do we have to watch him? Whatever. Uh, you're next and your attacks are uh, Lith Launcher and Space Warper again. So again, your, your, your main attack is actually quite short range. Not great. Let's kind of, I don't know. You need line of sight for this one? Let's kind of hide in here for now. Can I attack anything? No, let's just execute our actions for now. We probably should move our other guy up um, with the sniper. I do not like the way this, oh, this guy's gonna do like big blitz attack in those areas. You gonna attack? No, he's doing. It. Oof! Shotgunned. All right. He looks like he's gonna do an ability either side of him. Is that what that is? No, that's the overheat thing. Oh, so we gotta be careful that when we we don't overheat him. All right. So let's attack you then. We need to we need to blow the crap out of some. Um, can we kill him? We can kill him. Awesome. Let's do that. Nice. I think I should move you up to try and be able to snipe. Or maybe I just attack with the sniper rifle. Not the sniper rifle, sorry, the Hellfire Artillery. We can probably kill you. Then we move up. Uh, yeah, move up as much as we can. Cool. Nice. All right, now it's just us and the big dude. We want to be able to, mm, we're kind of, if I get to there, there, can I attack? I can attack. All right, awesome. I don't know what all those stacks are. Oh, it's a populated area. Oh, okay. So we actually lose out on stuff. Minus 20 health repair after combat. Oh, okay. Well, we don't want to do that. I didn't realize that was a thing. But let's make sure we're not attacking, you know, innocent civilians. Okay, so these things are weird. Oh, look at that. Okay, so he's... Oh, wait. Well, he destroyed that, not me. That's not my fault. 
Oh, he's really hocking me, right? What does what happens when he overheats actually? Check that. Explodes, dealing damage to units in circular area, including itself. Oh, if we can overheat it, that would be whopper. Now, I actually don't want to get within range of this thing. I'm actually going to move away from him a little bit, and then we'll we'll try and hit him a few times. Uh, we won't space warp him, no, because that will leave us right beside him. All right, so that kind of overheats me, but also heats him up a little bit as well. It would be nice to overheat him. I don't think we I don't think we have the the ability to do it though, so we won't worry about it. Um, pack the Hellfire artillery greatly heats a single target. Oh, let's heat him up. Let's heat him up. Wow, that's, that seems OP. Be able to overheat a unit. <gasps> it's gonna explode. Did it, it did do damage to itself, didn't it? So that means I think it has to cool down next turn, doesn't it? I also wanna make sure I'm not in range of, let's just, let's just like fire everything we got. We're, we're, we're taking them down, but I'm interested to see what happens. All right, here comes more enemies. I don't think they're going to get in. He's going to do his big scream thing. Is he? He is. He's destroying buildings, but there's nothing really I can do about that. So being overheated, he takes and deals double damage, if I understand this correctly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm rooted. Crap. But he will do damage to his own dude. But I think we can kill him off this turn. Uh, let's move out of that, for example. And then let's just hit him with whatever we've got. Yeah, we've just got to hit him with everything we've got right now. But I think we've got this. I think we've got this. Uh, I do know we, can, uh, we can't move. So let's just stay where we are. And we will shoot whatever we can. Yeah, we got him. We got him. I think this is it. We did it. We did it, team. Um, we got anima our challenge was animatronic scrap. Awesome. We also unlocked a heat absorber. Awesome. We got some more unlocks. We get to select a few more upgrades. Uh, Fimble Winter. Whenever you walk out of a tile, it becomes frozen. Freezing tiles no longer hurt your mech. They still cool it down. Sure, why not? Hacker, your attacks no longer increase heat on enemies, but instead root them. Now, I, li I like heating them up. Plus 20p. Oh, I like that. Yeah, let's get uh, 20 action points. Oh, level three, alloy grenade launcher. Range of four, that's huge. Projectile rifle. I think that would be pretty cool with our long range guy. That's his main, his main attack because the sniper rifle was in a direct. And that's been Ignited Steel Mech Tactics, everybody. Um, the game, as I said, releases today. Um, if you liked the video, make sure you hit like and subscribe also. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And thanks to developers, as always, for the key. That's in the next video, guys. Bye.